Right, yeah, today we're going to need some serious creativity. So we, uh, we sent the anchor video off for approval last night. We also have a needle mat series to do. I don't know if you've seen the needle mat before. Let me grab it. Those bits, those are all pretty sharp points actually. You know, they are actually gonna cut you. Like that actually kinda hurt. Um, but I did a series like five days of lying on that and I think it accumulated maybe like 10 million views off of five videos, maybe even more than that. So I pitched to Anchor for this charging thing that I would do another video that would be like, tell me, can I reach a certain state of relaxation before the time works out before the charge hits. So I need to think of needle mat series. I need to think of five ideas for that. And then the TikTok creator marketplace has this buzz campaign. It, uh, it's actually, I really like it. I like the idea of it. So like in this case, so that is this $30,000 as a pocket. Imagine that's a pool of money. And they are offering, come on, if you can see it, $15 per thousand views and then another $100 if you're one of the first 100 videos that gets accepted. So the way it works is you follow the video requirements here and then you post it to your profile. It'll start accumulating accumulating views naturally and then as TikTok and the brand either approve or disprove. So let's say they approve it. If that video has already already accumulated a hundred thousand views before they even approve it, those views still count, which means fifteen dollar RPM, which is per thousand views, so rate per milli, means for every thousand views you get, you get fifteen dollars. So if you get ten thousand views, you're earning hundred and fifty dollars. Hundred thousand views $1,500. So it mounts up pretty quickly if your video does well. The, I think why this is so good is that you don't have to contact the brand, do all the negotiations, etc. But they do require 12 months usage rights, which means that they can push your video as an ad for 12 months. Now I typically charge a brand $1,000 per 30 days of usage rights, which essentially gives them access to be able to put money behind the video to promote it. So that's the toughie here. One of the video requirements is is pretty ridiculous and I'm just, I'm still trying to think through one, the idea and two, how I would incorporate that. I don't know. We're having a chat to Kenny in a bit. He's another TikTok creator. He's recently switched from doing, you know, somewhat similar content to what I was doing to food content. He's got like what, 800K and then another something similar to that on YouTube as well. So yeah, I'll bring it up, see what he says. So Nina Matt series, uh, buzz video idea. If the anchor video gets approved and I really, I want to get making the accounts, create accounts for clips. I think those are my priorities today. Oh yeah, I did this. I did this shaving series on TikTok, which again picked up quite a few million views. And it's just me learning to use a cutthroat razor, and I bought obsidian recently, which is let me show you, black volcanic glass. So it's just lava that's cooled really fast. But this is meant to be like the sharpest material in the world but it blunts really quickly. So I was thinking if I can get a shard cut off, 
and then maybe if I make a video of trying to shave with it. I like that a lot. I like that a lot, a lot. Right, Kenny and I spoke for like an hour and a half. It was good yesterday, except when I come to edit, I've realized that the actual recording has no bloody audio of what Kenny's saying, so it's just a one-sided conversation. <laughs> that's good, that's great. So let me just um, kill all of that. Maybe I'll just make clips out of it because it's just not a conversation. So on to the next bit. <laughs> I always good to talk with, I mean, Kenny's always good to talk to. Kenny, by the way, is mostly a creator on TikTok, does short form, sorry, does YouTube stuff too. But that's how we found each other on TikTok. And it's always good getting someone else's perspective, both another creator's perspective and someone who just consumes content. So like in that case, we just talked about this chewing gum video that I just finished. And I had, the section I'd created fed off of the previous video. And I thought it was kind of a, a good thing to put in, but I brought it in in such a way that it could be taken out if it didn't really add to the story. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna copy everything and then make a second version. Okay. So I set myself a new goal to make the flavor run out before the phone reaches 20%. And then I just take out. As I got to nine minutes. Gosh, the flavor. Sure enough. And then I can just rip out all of this here. And it's the sound effects that are annoying that I have to try and sort out. So you can go back. You are hanging on over there. I don't need you. And then you have yourself on no video. Yes. One minute twelve. So it took off like eight seconds. Uh, chewing gum V2. Yeah, I send that to the client. But the decision here. Well, I think. The thing that we're trying to figure out as creators here is what is essential to the story and what's too much. Like I, I, I look at life in terms of, let's just, oh, that's gonna be upside down. Hang on a minute, sausage. Come on, Bobbit. Doing, doing, okay. I look at life in terms of, so everything to me is a scale gammy ass pen. Everything's a scale, right? So it, weirdly, for different circumstances, I think about them going up and I think them going laterally. All right. So let's say um, eight mil views, 10K views. Like you, I think of everything on a decision that I have to make. So like, let's say the drinking the cold water section. You have this scale, and then you have another scale of, I don't know, uh, enjoyment, and then zero uh, percent. I don't very often write these things out, but it should have just been a chart. So let's turn this into a chart. All right, so this one is gonna be views. And then down here, we're gonna have enjoyment. So a decision about the <laughs> cold water bit, uh, you think it's gonna go low down on the views, so it may not get many views. However, the person might really enjoy it, right? And there might be other things that you know will spark up lots of views but they might not really enjoy it. Like an example, there's this one dude, he looks like a middle-aged guy and he might make something in his house. I think some of the things I've seen are, he'll put like decals on a wall and spray paint them so that his kids can see like Tinkerbell on the wall or something. It's all right, doggies. 
And the dumb thing he'll do is like he'll obviously spray paint on the outside of the stencil, the decal. And then everyone's commenting like, I can't believe you did that. Or like he'll test the paint working on just a random part of the wall. And to him, that's fantastic for viewership because it gets people commenting, it gets people sticking around for the rest of the video. But people hate it like, because, it's, because it's not real. Like he just did that for the, the views and the comments and whatnot. So every decision kind of comes through something like this when you're making content, I think. I think a lot. I think too much. Good, good, you da. All right, so a while ago I made the decision that I would finish my employment at my company. And now it's time to like hand in the notice. I, I don't know what to write. So I don't know, I'm thinking I just asked chat GPT. I want to hand, I want to let my employer know I want to terminate my employment. I want to terminate my employment. Uh, give me five template sample emails. I could send my employer. Let's see what that it's out. Writing to formally announce my resignation from my position at Effective. Yeah, maybe that will do. It's interesting because I'm speaking to someone who I don't work with on a daily basis or at all. So I feel like I'll just need this first line. Okay, that seems better. I had to take out the names so that, you know, we're not doing too much. I have made the decision to formally announce my, what am I doing? Resignation from my position at, I'll come back and do this, effective immediately. 10, 12. I've made the decision to formally, oh, screw it. I am writing to formally announce my resignation from my position as name, effective two weeks from 10, 12. Um, I'm really not sure what next steps are in terms of returning for those two weeks. I'm really not sure what next steps are in terms of returning for those two weeks, handing equipment and or um, what's the word for dealing with changing insurance? No. Oh, and or other housekeeping items or other items that remain outstanding may need attention. So please let me know what to exp Please let me know how I can be most helpful. Regards. Oliver Wright. Hi so and so, I hope your week's going well. I'm writing to formally announce my resignation from my position at blank. Effective two weeks from 10, 12. So my resignation will be two weeks from that date. Okay. I'm not really sure what next steps are in terms of returning for those two weeks, handing equipment and or other items that may need attention. So please let me know how I can be most helpful. I think that's all right. Nice and concise. That dog. Okay, let me put in the name, send it. It's just hit me that I've actually just terminated my employment. That's mental. That's kind of crazy, something I've been working for for the last eight years. That is now a thing. 
That's so crazy to me. Oh my gosh. For the last month and a half while I've been on paid leave, I've just felt so free. And like I have a purpose and what I'm trying to do. That's not to say that the nine to five type of corporate America job isn't for, you know, is for no one, but it didn't, I didn't like it. Man, this is cool. I'm not really nervous at all. It's like, I've been planning this for so long, but it's still it's just like it's done. The decision's made. I am no longer getting a steady paycheck for work I didn't really enjoy doing. Dude, we did it. He did it. All right, now what I do, just like play Fortnite in my Shrek Crocs or something. <laughs> just the next shot is me playing Fortnite in Shrek Crocs. So I know I need to do the needle mat series and the challenge here is that, okay, first thing is the new iPhone 15 needs to go, needs to get returned tomorrow. And I still need to plan out the series because this will be in one of the videos, plan out a series of five videos, script one of them that's going to involve the iPhone, and then hopefully I'll send that off today, they'll review it, get back to me, and then I can film it all tomorrow. I mean, I think I've got two options. One is I just shoot it tomorrow, get as many shots as I can with the phone, or I just take it back and get another one. I don't know. But I did have an idea. Hello. Get out of the way, you wee bastard. Shouldn't use that language here, should I? Um, you can bugger off. All right, needle mat series. Remember, that's what we're doing here. Yeah, needle mat series, right. I love the way you're thinking right now, yeah. I am, the, two, the couple of ideas I had. So one, I'm gonna number them because uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be uh, Red Bull stimulant. You know, maybe the first one should actually be just normal Right, and see if I can do it again. That's ridiculous. The number two, Red Bull. Number three is... Dark chocolate is meant to be kind of a psychoactive. This is where the Red Bull idea came from. Because uh, some people say eating dark chocolate will, um, oh, okay, train of thought. Um, let's say this one's the Nano Charger. And then I'm thinking like Kaleidoscope to change um, hallucinations. And then, what is something that, hmm, Do it with noise cancellation. Because we've done the bed of Lego. 
Like I want it so sorry, I was explaining. Dark chocolate, there's something in it, I can't remember the name of it, but it's some kind of chemical that acts as a psychoactive stimulant. I don't know if I said that right. Which is why people say don't eat dark chocolate before bed, but actually there's been no science behind it. Because that's meant to give you bad dreams. It's something along those lines. I know that because I've read it. I just... Dark chocolate is meant to give you bad dreams. Right? But there's no proof behind it. <laughs> so these hallucinations... Um... I was thinking about whether I show you the video or not here, but it's on my TikTok. I'll, if I can remember, I'll link it below. But the hallucinations to me have been like a, a purple pulse that's come out and then stretched out. And as it begins to explode out, like slowly expand, a new one will form in the middle and it'll just keep pulsing. And it's always purple. It goes darkish purple out to light. It's a really cool feeling. Reminds me of that time I took DMT and shrooms and cocaine and took some weeds and then did molly. So just like that. I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs, so. Kind of just staring and thinking what to say right now, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> Either, either dark chocolate or what else is meant to be really soothing? What if I try to re this, reach the state of relaxation with lots of noise and lots of light? Right, so the challenge is, can I, can I gain the a bit? Yes. So this will be four. I'm scribbling out on a whiteboard because I'm archaic. Maybe we won't do dark chocolate, but we will do the last one, which is uh, sound and light. You are the freaking, you're the biscuit. Don't know what that means. So I'm gonna go, with, I'll script this one shortly. But then, what if we, can we think of an idea for this? I'm pretty sure Kenny and I kind of talked about this earlier, but I don't know, uh, I guess I'm kind of bashing brands here and the people that work behind these brands because there's such a massive disjoint. And I, 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 having worked in corporate America, I understand that there's a different way of doing things and stakeholders want that ROI. They wanna see what their money's going to, like what that gets them. But when you create scripts like this, like here, so <laughs> I'll give you the requirements. It's a, the duration between 15 and 30 seconds. Can't be any shorter, can't be any longer. 30 seconds is not that long. So it must incorporate at least one of these verbal call to actions in your video. Just listen to this. Start saving like a VIP today with Straight Talk Wireless. Available at Walmart and straighttalk.com. If I hear that, I'm scrolling. Become a VIP with Straight Talk Wireless to save on wireless and more. Available at Walmart and straighttalk.com. What are you guys doing? Real savings for real VIPs. Value interested people. Available at straighttalk.com and Walmart. I feel like that's the one that I could make fit. Real savings for real VIPs. Value interested people. Available at straighttalk.com and Walmart. 
Like that's the thing. I think as a brand, you think you need that call out where to go and get it. I don't think you need that. Like that just glazes over people. People don't care for that information. They, if, they want, if they want this, they can Google it and then they find out where it is. Also, what's a green carpet? So here's the brief. Pretend that you just got invited to the biggest VIP event of the season. We want to see your main character energy, what you would wear on the green carpet the moment you get, or you text or call all of your friends about it. I mean, first of all, all your friends, who's got more than one or maybe two? I mean, my thought is, that I, I think about it from a savings perspective, not wanting to spend too much money. So like, let's say I have to go down a green carpet. Where would I get the clothes I need to? Do I go to Walmart for that? Like I, I'm, first part I'm thinking is I go to like a Goodwill or something. But then if I scrap that and go to a Walmart for them instead, then it's an easy link between available at straighttalk.com and Walmart. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Some of these campaigns that these companies come up with are just ridiculous. It's like this, I'm moaning now, but it's like they're so out of touch between what works as you know, marketing on TV or a magazine and what works on something like TikTok. I mean, if I'm honest, selling stuff on TikTok, unless it's in the TikTok shop, I don't think is good at all. Like trying to get someone to go to your LinkedIn bio, awful. But as a place for uh, exposure about a service product or brand, I think it's incredible. My other concern here with this process, with this whole creator marketplace buzz, is that you post a video and you have no idea if it's going to get accepted or not. So like for me, if I do this, I'm splitting up the verbiage that they need someone to say. So I'm probably going to be like, at the, toward the beginning, defining what a VIP is, like a value interested person, people. And you have to say real, say, oh. And like, oh look, it's available at straighttalk.walmart and straighttalk.com. What are you guys doing? Okay, one thing at a time. Let's start. Also, sorry, I shouldn't be chewing gum while I have the microphone here. That is a bit, it was gross when I was listening to it and editing it the other day. So I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Odd right content calendar. Cool. Um, get rid of that. Um. Okay, just at a high level, I'm sticking these into here. Season two, episode one, needle mat. Normal, normal, and then season two, episode two, needle mat. This one's going to be Red Bull stimulant. This one's going to be the charger. It's more kaleidoscope here. And then the final one is sound and lights. 
was looking at getting a, an at-home sauna as well. Might be kind of cool. You know, I'm really looking forward to filming some stuff outside. Some more active side quests than what we're doing at the moment because I feel like since I got back, I've just been stuck in here trying to catch up. And I think that's that's the trouble with doing sponsored posts is they're, <laughs> they're amazing. Like, don't get me wrong. It's more bang for your buck. But the time taken in negotiating, going through the contract, um, getting a, a script written, setting it for approval, changes, video made, approval, changes, blah, 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 and trying to organize that around. And all of that has to be done while you try and keep your normal schedule. So you're essentially doing double the work for a period. It's so hard, isn't it? It's such a hard life. Very nice. <laughs> Not that I'm procrastinating. So, we can kick off the previous videos. Sorry, we can kick off these videos with like reference and we can take a lot from the previous videos. And then I think we just, we just work out how we fit the race in. So I think the whole premise for this is that challenging my ability challenging my ability to control my mind right so all these challenges coming at us and the whole goal is to be able to get to this deep relaxation state. So I can't, I can't play this game that I don't know if the charger will make it in nine minutes because I know it will. If I hadn't posted any video about it, I would play onto that like I, well, I guess I didn't really make that up for the first one because we did it live, didn't we? Um, And so I feel like I have to kind of reference that previous video. All right, so I'm going back through my previous videos. So here, so the Bed of Lego one did 6.3 million views. So my initial want in that video was to get a nice even layer of them, but I didn't do that. And that then played into the video. All right, this one I'm challenging to fall into the state as fast as possible. Uh, how long does it take to charge? Point of no return is the answer to that. So old video, but the catch is that, I guess I'll just, I'll list a few things. Added pressure. Catch is that overplay things in my head. ADHD stuck on one thing. Stuck on one thing slash obsessive. Catch is haven't done it this quickly before. A sussy position, yeah. I think that's the one we go with. 
Uh, I don't know, the floor is that I'm unsure. Right, so then, I think, how long does it take to charge? I think as I get needle mat ready. As I get that ready, I'm asking how long, something along the lines of how long it takes to charge. Old video, I know it's, oh, I have, it charges 5% to 20% in, call it eight minutes. And then I haven't done it, meaning I haven't got into the hallucination part that quickly before. So then, what do I try? I try... Do I, at this point, I... Lie down. You deal with the pain. Uh... So I lie down and I have to make the pain bit shorter. Need to shut. Lie down. What if in this video, I force myself to think about the battery going up fast? So I think I should, as I lie down. All right, let's get into that as soon as possible. So as I lie down, uh, try getting through pain. The result is that I focus on bat, batty percentage <laughs> going up. And then No, because as I get through the pain, I realize that, so this is where I could just like pick it up, you know, slide it down. But I like the idea of writing it. Getting through pain, realize I need to get through pain phase faster. Right? Realize I need to get through the pain phase faster. So what do I do? I um, when I what uh, tricked. Oh, so start thinking about battery, about batty percentage to get mind off. And then the problem with that is that, um, 
That's all I can think about. Uh, yeah, that's all I can think about. And here I'll add in some kind of product bit. That's all I can think about. Um, so then what choices do I make? So the choices is either stop or give up on challenge. Both letting Charger win. And instead, I use Batty <laughs> uh, Bar for my hallucinations. I don't know, I mean, just like visualize the battery percentage going up. What happens? Do I manage to get to sleep? If I say eight minutes is just too fast. So I think about using the batty bar for my hallucinations. And as I'm thinking about that, I lose track of time. How do I end the video that it, that it feels good to the viewer? Oops. So I could stop. Give up on challenge. The challenge in this case is trying to beat the timer. So giving up on that means I would just try and hallucinate. I would just try and reach that state of relaxation. But no. I wouldn't choose any of those because that would let the charger win and God forbid that happened. So I then choose the banana option, which is to use the battery bought bar for my hallucinations. And thankfully, ow. And thankfully recording. Because I was deep hallucination. when charger hit X percent
in X minutes. I'll have a camera on that. So as far as the viewer is aware, I have, I'm, I'm trying to use the battery bar for my hallucinations. And then miraculously, that does work. And I miss the time that the phone reaches the right percentage. Yeah. And thankfully I was recording because I was in, because I was in deep hallucinations when the charge hit. Dude, I need to pee so badly. I'll be right back. Lo siento, por favor. That was good. I, I did Spanish in senior school, so it's no biggie. So thankfully I was recording because I was deep in hallucinations. The charge here, X in X. I think that's how, that's how it goes. All right, flaws and strengths in this. I think the beginning here, um, haven't done it this quickly before. Second guess myself. And then the strength is that um, Like, put your mind to it. And then where do we fit in about, we've got bits about the product here. Could do it in here. And then we have it again here. So one, two, three, four, five mentions. And we probably all mention it somewhere in this beginning part two, because this is the challenge. And that's good, that's good. And you think for a 60 second video to have five mentions and to make it feel like entertainment is a lot, I think. All right, you fine specimen. I found a video here, 5.2 million views from the previous series. And this is just about relaxation. This isn't about um, like using a Lego mat. So I'm thinking this is quite a good one. This is a bed. Here's my journey to relaxation on a bed of 6,000 needles. The hook, bro, the hook is flamey. This is this video, 5.2 million views, 734,000 likes. Now, typically, uh, I think six, four to 8% is a very high engagement rate on TikTok, okay? Let's work this out. So we've got 5.2 million views. Oh my God, five. And then 200, 200,000 divided by, all right, so the likes, 734,500 plus 368 comments plus 36.4, oh, 36,400 saves and 1091 shares. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, that's right. So all of that divided by 5.2 million, that's 14% engagement rate, 15%. That's nuts. Here's my journey to relaxation on a bed of 6,000 needles. Like you typically, when you have a video that does well among your followers, you'd normally have a good um, number of likes and whatever. But when it goes, we'll call this viral, 5 million views viral, when it goes that, you'll probably find that the engagement drops like crazy and the comments just become just it starts to become a video where there's no person behind the video it's just a video you've seen that's gone viral and people just they don't care that there's a person behind it reading the comments <laughs> but if i say there's one really good thing that's come out of um this as of doing social media, it's that I now no longer care about the opinion of someone that I wouldn't ask for advice from. I'd say that's probably my favorite thing that I've learned. Okay. Let's get scripting. Bruce sticks are back. Yeah, this isn't really the vibe, is it? Turn you off before I die. Reminds me.
reminds me of that emoji. It's like they're dancing like this. I don't know. Just. All right, we're back in action. <laughs> okay, I'm not set on the hook because you can go and see. You can go see mommy. Go and see Shay Shay. Go with him. Um, so that hook, this, this video did 5.2 million and it's not like I'm doing a challenge in this one as such. This is my journey to relaxation on a bed of 6,000 needles. I feel like I do need to do a recap again. I to deal with the pain and find a way to completely relax to the point I felt hypnotized. But it's... Uh, yesterday, I was able to reach a stay, reach the stage of hallucinations, the stage of hallucinations. even after drinking a red, red Bull. Yesterday I was able to reach the stage of hallucinations even after drinking. Yesterday, yesterday I What's it called when you put cannon in? Yesterday I shot gunned a Red Bull and was able and was yesterday's challenge was to shotgun a Red Bull and try to and try to reach this hallucination stage and try to reach the hallucination stage. Yesterday's challenge was to shotgun a Red Bull and try to reach the hallucination stage. In yesterday's challenge, it doesn't really come across as a challenge though, does it? Um, the way I'm thinking about this is either shotgun or Red Bull or hallucinations has to come very early in this bit of script so that the user, the viewer doesn't feel like well, so it's more interesting to the viewer. This is my journey to relaxation on a bed of 6,000 needles. And in yesterday's challenge, and, and in yesterday's challenge, I what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that like I did it, but I was also trying to do it. This is my journey to relaxation on a bed of 6,000 needles. And in yesterday's challenge, I had to shotgun, I had to shotgun a Red Bull before trying to reach the hallucination stage. And today, and today my challenge is to race my phone charger. Um, my phone charger because Hmm. 
And today my challenge is to race a phone charger. That sounds like stupid, doesn't it? To and today my challenge is to race against time. And today my challenge is to How long does it take to charge? It's to race against time. It's a race against how long my iPhone 15 takes to charge with the Get over here! Do you think that's funny? Do you? You think that's funny? Never. No. What do you think you're doing? Did you just drive the car with mummy? Did you drive the car with mummies? Say yes. Good job, ass. Yes. What are you doing? Do you see, Daddy's working. Don't you try and squirm out of this. <laughs> what is it? Oh, can you let go? Thank you. What is it? I'm going to go hang out with mum for a little bit longer. <laughs> hey. Oh, what is it? <gasps> Kurt, come on. Don't you throw those stickers on the floor. The pen? You want to draw on the table? Sorry, Lila. Go on then, I'll lift you up. Go on then, you can try it, on here. Good job, and again. Get her life. <laughs> Get her, Duda. Get her. You're to do it to you. Get her, Duda. Get her, Duda. Like just watching things like that, of him switching hands because he wants to hold it in his left hand. I think that's so cool to see. Wow, that's really cool. Ah! You want to put it down? <laughs> oh, that's lucky, isn't it? Okay. Can I have that back, please? Thank you. Can you put the lid on, please? Put the lid on? Yeah, put the lid on and I'll take it, please. What? Oh, can you see yourself? No, Lila. Lila, get her. Hey, do you see yourself? Who is that? Get her. Who is that? Your hair looks very red in that, Ruger. Oh, look how cute this is. Get her, Lila. I'll take it. Oh, no. Hey, Jill. Jill goes in the car today. Hey. Do not. Get her, Lila. Too rough, you know. <laughs> Silly doggies. Ow! Get away from me. Duda, too rough. Too rough, Duda. Duda! Be gentle. <gasps> Pick it up. Doom, 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 doom. Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm meant to do Mission Impossible. <laughs> okay. okay, can you put that on the table, please? No, put it on the table, please. And you put the lid on, please. Thank you. Almost. Good job. Can you put it down, please? Yeah, put it, put it on top of here. There is fine, too. Hey! How did you manage to snag that one? Throw it down. Good job. Okay. Alright. I'll be up in about 15, 20. Later, losers. Let's go upstairs. Let's go to the party. Oh, God.
Sorry about that, darlings. It's so terrible. It's not. I bloody love it. All right. And today my challenge is to race against time. Race against time. My challenge, and today my challenge is to race against time. My challenge is a race against time. How can I incorporate that? Today, I just feel here that it's a it's a stupid challenge. Like if you make it out like you're really trying to race against the charger, it's stupid. But if you do it as a race against time, and that time is decided by the charger, I think that is that makes for a better story or at least video. Today, my challenge is a race against time. My challenge is a race against time. Race against time. See. Hold on, Duda. Anchor's new. Go on then, good girl. Anchor's new iPhone 15. Nano char charger. Takes just eight minutes. to go from 5% to 20%. And today my challenge is a, and today my challenge is a race against time. See, Anchor's new iPhone 15 nano charger takes just 8 minutes to go from 5%. See You see You see Anchor's new iPhone 15 nano charger. Takes just eight minutes to go from 5% to 20%. You see. Takes and uh, nine minutes. Takes nine minutes to go from five to 20%. Really struggling with this bit. In the yesterday's challenge, I had to shotgun a Red Bull before trying to reach the hallucination stage. This is my journey to relaxation on a bed of 6,000 needles. And in yesterday's challenge, <clears throat> I had to shotgun a Red Bull before trying to reach the hallucination. No, before trying to reach the hallucination stage, okay? And today, my challenge is a race against time. Yeah, see, I don't think this is the right, And today, my challenge is a race against time. Hmm. 
Hmm. My want is a race against time decided by Angus new iPhone 50 nano charger which I found out takes nine minutes to go, which I found out takes eight minutes to go from 5% to 20%. Okay, so that want is also the reason and the point of no return. Which makes me think this challenge is impossible because I've never reached that stage. I've never reached the hallucination stage that quickly before. Which makes me think this challenge is impossible because I'd never reached that hallucination stage that quickly before. Okay. Process one. Um. Immediately lying down on the 6,000 sharp points. Fake needles sharp, immediately lying. Lying down. Lying down on the 6,000 sharp points, I immediately felt the pain rushing through me. I immediately felt the pain rushing through me, the prickles. Lying down the 6,000 sharp points, I immediately felt the pain rushing through me. But for this challenge, I'd have to move through the pain phase faster. Than the last four minutes. No, faster than my normal four minutes. Lying down on the 6,000 sharp points, I immediately felt the pain rushing through me. But for this challenge, I'd have to move through the pain phase faster than my normal this time. I couldn't waste four minutes. But for this challenge, I couldn't wait the normal four minutes it takes to get through the pain phase. But for this challenge, I couldn't wait the normal four minutes it takes to get through the, the, through the pain phase. I tried switching my brain, my thoughts from 
pain to thinking about the battery percentage. I tried switching my thoughts from the from the pain from pain. I tried switching my thoughts from pain to thinking about the battery percentage. To take my mind off the pain, I tried switching my thoughts to thinking about the battery percentage going up. But that seemed like a bad idea. But riddled with ADHD. No, nah, maybe I won't put that in there. But that quickly backfired. But that quickly back and became the only thing I could think about. But that quickly backfired and became the only thing I could think about. and became stuck. But that quickly backfired and became stuck in my mind. So at this point, I want to share that I can't get to this hallucination stage because this is just running through my mind. But, and while that got me through the pain stage, It became the only, it became stuck in my mind. It became stuck in my mind. So stuck in my mind my ADHD became stuck in my mind, so stuck in my mind, my ADHD like this is where I want to use like hyper descriptive words and really explain and kind of make it a almost like a creative piece of writing, but maybe I'll try it sometime, but I just don't feel like I think that's too dramatic, and then you end up using different words that people don't or may not understand. Not good for retention. <laughs> it became stuck in my mind. So stuck in my mind. It became stuck in my mind. It became stuck in my mind. My ADHD grabbed onto it like my ADHD grabbed onto it like it didn't want me to. Reach the halluc 
synergenic stage. That's definitely not close to how you spell it. My ADHD grabbed onto it like it didn't want me to, like it was stopping me from reaching the hallucinogenic stage. After a few minutes of fighting with my mind, a few minutes, the nano charger pumping battery, pumping charge into the battery. To take my mind off the pain, I tried switching my thoughts to thinking about the nano charger pumping charge into the battery. About the nano charger pumping charge into my phone. And while that got me through the pain stage, it became stuck in my mind. My ADHD grappled onto it like it, like it, was stopping me from reaching like it was holding me back from the hallucinogenic stage. Knowing the timer was almost up. Knowing the timer was almost up. Struggling for time. I thought about stopping. about stopping or just giving up on the challenge and taking my time. Both letting the nano charger win. Then my creativity, creative streak kicked in. And instead of imagining the normal pulses, instead of visualizing, visualizing the normal pulses, Then my creative streak kicked in. And instead of visualizing the normal pulsing, I thought about the iPhone battery. I thought about the iPhone battery. up. Pulsing as it filled up. And then the title, I'm not really sure. By the time I'd woken up, from my hallucinations. I 
this part I'm thinking about whether like I wake up <sighs> yeah just whether I wake up <laughs> no it'll be do I wake up and then kind of talk through where the battery percentage is then or do I I'm like 20 minutes later I woke up and check the footage. Because like, the viewer may want to know, did I reach that hallucination stage before the charger reached? I guess I won't know. Then I get woken up by the alarm. That's it. Um, phone alarm goes off. My reaction then Damn it. My reaction and then... Okay, here's the script that I'm thinking. This is my journey to relaxation on a bed of 6,000 needles. And in yesterday's challenge, I had to shotgun a Red Bull before trying to reach the hallucination stage. But today is a challenge as a race against time. But today is a challenge... But today, my challenge is a race against time, decided by Anchor's new iPhone 15 nano charger, which I found out takes eight minutes to go from 5% to 20% to charge. Anchor's nano charger means to charge the iPhone 15 from 5% to 20%. Which makes me think this challenge is impossible because I've never reached that hallucination stage that quickly before. I don't think this challenge is possible because I've never reached the hallucination stage that quickly before. I think that's right. I think that's what we'll do. I don't even need you. <laughs> so bad, isn't it? <laughs> what the frick? You know what? I'm not going to bother exporting yet. I'm just going to come back to it later before I send the email. Yeah. All right, I think that's that done. Which means I will film that tomorrow, but then first thing tomorrow, we are gonna set up the, um, that straight talk video that I was talking about that I was gonna do to earn money for the missus and the baby. Alright, see you tomorrow, you ugly bunch. Later, dude. <laughs>